Much like the rest of the world, England is facing several environmental challenges. A loss of nature, an increase in pollution, and the unpredictability of climate change means that we will all need to adapt to the changing environment. We are changing the way we use land so that it contributes to nature recovery, reducing pollution and tackling climate change. The majority of land in England is agricultural land, meaning that farmers and those that manage land are key to achieving positive change. Farmers and land managers face numerous challenges head on, striving to sustain their income despite rising costs. They make decisions every day about how their crops grow or their livestock graze, and increasingly think about if their land is resilient to climate change and extreme weather. Since the 1980s, the government has provided access to agri-environment schemes that farmers and land managers can apply for. Some of these schemes pay land managers for making their land more environmentally friendly. The schemes have evolved over time, and now there are a large range of grants for farmers to choose from. Most land managers and farmers want to maintain sustainable yields and income. A healthy environment will provide for future generations and enable farming to thrive. To achieve this, we need clean air, clean water, and a diversity of plants and animals. Many farmers across the country already have this in mind, but not all land looks the same. What works in one place may not work for another. How do you decide what to do where? At JNCC, we've developed an approach called spatial prioritization to help farmers and land managers make decisions on their land based on scientific evidence. We use data to build maps and assess the environmental benefits and trade-offs across England. This can help you identify what your environmental priorities are. These priorities can be used to generate a list of recommendations which will have a positive impact for nature. Sometimes one option can bring multiple benefits. For example, planting a flower meadow will improve soil health and increase the number of insects. This can enhance the pollination and growth of nearby crops. Our approach recommends options that will provide more than one benefit for your land. This can help you have a more positive impact on nature and provide for generations to come. You can use our approach in collaboration with your neighbours. Working together will bring positive change for your community and for nature. If you want to find out more about spatial prioritisation, visit the JNCC website.